Louis is an ex-research dog who I adopted in October. He's a hound. He's going to be a year old uh, tomorrow, March 25th, and he loves to chew on bones. He came in for a study related to asthma. And in this case, this investigator has been using dogs for years for these studies. So all their background data is based upon dog. Uh, you just can't you just can't switch to a different, different species if you haven't got the data that backs up what you've been doing for years. So the reason they use dogs is they needed to get a bronchoscope that's a five millimeter diameter, that's about a quarter inch, down inside the small airways. So you can't use an animal like a rabbit or a small, you can't use a rodent. You have to have a large enough animal. They used him uh, three times. He was anesthetized. Uh, they put a bronchoscope into his lung. And then at the end of the study, he was adoptable. And um, I, I fell in love with him in the run. And he was a, he's a lovely dog, great, great personality. And my young veterinarians thought that I should take him home. So I adopted Louie. And he has adjusted quite well. He's a lovely animal. And um, he's great to have around. Research is, uh, is a baby steps. It's, you build upon what was done before. At Johns Hopkins, we do a lot of work on cancer. We do work on heart transplant. I happen to work with uh, a model of AIDS. It, it's hard to imagine anything that's been learned uh, in biomedical research that hasn't used animals. I can't think of anything. So one of the benefits for us as veterinarians is the same findings that are pertinent in humans can be pertinent in animals. What I think everyone needs to understand is that the, uh, we come to work every day as veterinarians to provide the care for these animals that are so valuable. To be very honest, if if you didn't need to use animals, we wouldn't. The work cannot be done without using animals. And anything that, that inhibits our ability to use animals will inhibit future health of humans.